Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is your How Do They Feel About You reading for Pisces season. So take what applies and leave the rest behind. If this is your story, I would love to hear from you in the comments. You guys know I absolutely love hearing from you. I love when you engage with these videos because it lets me know that you like the content and that you want more of it. So like I said, if this is for you, comment below. If not, you can always check my channel and your other zodiac placements for messages you need to hear just please remember to like the video comment share subscribe to the channel and tap the notification bell so you can be alerted when i post new videos so lovely cancerians thank you for being here once again i love you guys and i so appreciate those of you who are subscribed and or members of the channel especially those of you little ogs out there who have been a part of my journey since i started my channel almost three years ago so yes i will be celebrating my three-year anniversary on youtube this coming week um, which is so exciting and of course you guys know i've been talking about making changes on my channel over the last couple of weeks a couple of months actually. So this season of Pisces, as we close out the astrological year, will be the last zodiac reading that will be um, individualized this way, okay? So instead of getting your cancer reading, you will just get your um, your reading inside of the water sign video, okay? So I'm not doing away with zodiac readings altogether. I'm just consolidating a little bit. Um, but I will also be doing 12 zodiological shorts that will help me determine which signs will get their intimate extended bonus reading each season, okay? So definitely stay tuned. I'm hoping this opens up more opportunities for me to do more collective readings, possibly go live and pour more energy into the Spicy Subscriber Society. So, um, and yes, of course, like I said, in the theme of making changes, I'm sure some of you have already seen me post about rebranding my channel. Um, I no longer resonate with the Witchy Woo Tarot anymore and I've decided to leave it behind and go with my official business name, which is Woo Works LLC. So everything has been changed and um, all of the links are down below in the description box, okay? So whether you're new or old, definitely reference down below um, where you can find my email address my social media links, my payment app information, which again, all have the WooWorks LLC link on it. The only thing that hasn't been changed yet is my official website because domains can't be changed. So I'm waiting for my um, time to run out, I guess, on that domain before I renew. And then I will be revamping and possibly um, buying a new domain at that point. But anyways, you guys, Thank you again for all of your support, all of your love. Um, as a token of my appreciation, I am going to run the 50% off sale for all readings. So be sure to book your readings with me this month at half price. Um, and again, everything you need to book a reading is down below. Um, also, for those of you who love to tip your readers, you can make a donation to the channel if you so choose. And if you want to support the channel in a different way, again, you can become a member of the Spicy Subscriber Society. So anyways, y'all, let's get into the reading finally. I know I've been talking for a minute, but many changes needed to be discussed. So anyways, Cancer, y'all know I love you very much. I'm a Cancer rising. So I hope that this reading resonates with those of you who are Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course, the lovely Crotch Watcher of Cancer. So keep that in mind. Reverse roles if it's necessary depending on which perspective you're watching this reading for, okay? So let's see what the overall vibe is between... Oh, dang, that came out fast. Um, the vibe between Cancer and their person of interest, okay? So the card we have is Decisions. So the fact that this card came out as fast as it did, this could be a little bit of a foreshadowing that a decision is about to be made and fast, okay? Maybe you and this person have recently made some decisions together, um, or you're hoping that your person will make a decision about the future of this relationship. So let's dig even further. We're going to start with the tarot and see specifically what this person is feeling in regards to you and this relationship. How do they feel about... <laughs> 
How do they feel about cancer? I was going to get some clarity cards because the first card out is El Diablo. Okay, cancer. So we've got the devil energy popping up first and foremost. So, you know, this could signify many different things, right? Which is exactly why I got the clarity. But we know the devil to be associated with codependency, lust, um, attachment, right? And toxic sort of bonds. But sometimes the devil can also be um, an indicator that someone is obsessing over you, right? Or they feel very attached to you in an unhealthy way. Um, and the devil can also signify our need to shake things up, okay? So if your person could be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you, but if your person is this type of energy where they get attached really fast or they seem to be kind of codependent, um, then again, this could be a definite indicator, right? So we're talking about the decision card coming out fast, this could also signify impulsivity. So clarifying the devil, because of course I can't just leave it there. We have the magician, okay, and we have the wheel of fortune. So this could just simply be very literal, right? I think this person also feels that the connection between the two of you is magical. Um, it's, it's also moving, I think, at a fast pace and in a positive direction. The wheel is upright. So this is talking about destiny and things looking up or or kind of looking for the better in a sense. Could also be talking about having good luck and fortune, obviously. But um, I do feel that this person feels fortunate to have you in their life, okay? Um, there could be a very strong sexual energy between the two of you. And with the magician here as well, it's like your person is wanting to manifest this connection with you. They're wanting to manifest things moving forward and um, in a great positive way, okay? So let's talk about what this person wants, okay? Oh my, oh my gosh. Cards are fumbling, y'all. What does this person want? Oh my goodness. So, oh, Cancer, this person right now, I think what they want the most is to end some sort of situation that they have going on in their life. Um, and, you know, going back to decisions here, this could even be talking about your person still being involved in some sort of a toxic karmic connection, right? This devil energy doesn't necessarily have to be about you because obviously cancer you're just a sweet baby angel right so so it doesn't have necessarily anything to do with you this person could really feel the need to manifest this new connection because they feel destined to be with you they feel like they're very drawn to you attracted to you they feel like things are going well when they're with you now if we have the death card coming up and what they want with the knight of swords i feel like this person is like really desperate to have a conversation conversation that's going to end a cycle here the death card is obviously not about actual death but it could be symbolic for something coming to an end but death is only the beginning right it's a chance to transform it's a chance to change and rise up again and be reborn so i think this person really wants to have a very brutal and honest conversation possibly with you and possibly even with a third party but you know knight of swords is is like i'm racing forward and i'm saying what i want to say but without even thinking it through because if i hold it back any longer then i'm gonna burst right uh this could also be a card of like foot in mouth energy being blunt being rude being callous um or jumping to conclusions right so I think that this person could want to clear the air with you in regards to maybe some conclusions you've drawn about their situation, especially if they have some sort of toxic karmic attachment and they're trying to manifest something new with you at the same time. Uh, a blunt and honest conversation could be overdue, okay? So I think that they want to talk to you about a recent ending that they have had in their life involving a karmic partner. Um, and I think also the Knight of Swords is kind of a warning for you, Cancer, to kind of brace yourselves a little bit because sometimes the Knight of Swords brings truths that we're not really ready to hear so keep that in mind okay where is this relationship going 
where is this relationship oh my gosh going between cancer and their person so first card upright is the chariot okay which is your energy we've got two dolphins swimming together in the same direction dolphins symbolizing soulmates twin flames okay whatever label you resonate with neither will offend me um the chariot is forward motion and movement guided by the energy of the universe right it's major arcana energy so this person it's like you both feel the current you both feel this energy pushing you forward into the next phase of your connection here okay now we also have the ace of pentacles it did come up in the reverse so just kind of putting it out there that even though this person may want to manifest this new beginning with you, they may want to like have this this new start and and just like move things forward and, and enjoy their life and you know all these great things. I just don't necessarily know that they're ready to commit and not because they don't want to, but possibly because they're not able to just yet. Okay. Um, we've got the page of swords coming up here as well. So as of right now, even though your person definitely feels the vibes with you, they definitely want to move things forward and talk to you about what's going on. I don't think this person can offer you anything tangible at this time. Okay. Um, the page of swords is someone who watches and waits and keeps an eye. I think this person, it's kind of all they can do right now is watch you and, and stalk you and observe you and learn about you. And even though they have things that they want to say, right, I, I don't think that they're ready to have this conversation about commitment and, and moving things forward just yet, okay? It's an underlying energy in the reverse, meaning the opportunity is there. This person wants to take advantage of it, but they may not have the ability to, and that's why they just are planning on observing you, watching you, waiting to see what happens, because again, I do feel your person has a major decision to make. So going back to this whole energy here, the death and the knight of swords, um, this is exactly what they want but does that mean that they're gonna do it with the knave of swords coming up here you know this this person right now could be if the situation's reversed i should say this person could be jumping to conclusions about what you're going through in your own life if you're the one who has a toxic attachment or a third party situation they could be wanting an honest conversation with you about having that situation come to an end but if you're not ready to commit or you're not ready to pull away from that codependency toxicity whatever it is then this is the only choice they have okay so again keep in mind everyone's situation and circumstance is going to be different um but the underlying energy here is the moon in the reverse. So I do feel that there's a lot of hidden emotions here under the surface. I feel like this person is really scared about how they feel potentially. Um, or they just may be, again, they may be in this energy of, of fear and delusion um, based on the moon, right? We just had the full moon in Virgo, very intense energy. So I do feel this person is... Um, I think they're scared, okay? They're scared of their feelings for you. And I think they know that they're not going to really be able to reveal the truth to you until they handle their business, okay? Um, what's under that? The King of Swords in the reverse. So Cancer, a lot of swords energy here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius individual, or you could have these placements in your chart. King of Swords in the reverse to me is like mentirosa, okay? Like someone who lies or who omits the truth or just refuses to communicate, right? The King of Swords can be someone very cold and calculated, very just rude, crude, a brute, a beast okay um but you know again everyone's situation is going to be different the reasoning for your person hiding things from you and um kind of acting in a distorted energy or being cold or whatever towards you is because they f could potentially feel out of control in their situation okay so uh very interesting what is this person's challenge i should say is a challenge the six of cups 
So the challenge is they are feeling nostalgic, okay? They're looking back at the past and the memories that they share with you, Cancer. And there's so much kindness and love that you exude and that you share with them. They definitely feel a soul connection with you. They want to reconcile, okay? But they're stuck, okay? They're, they're keeping themselves stuck. Um, so very, very interesting energy here. And look at that. The emperor is also in the reverse. So whoever we're dealing with right now is really stuck in a deep seated, distorted energy, um, a masculine energy. It's, it's not very good. Okay. And I just seen the seven of swords also at the bottom of the deck, which tells me this person is they're straight up lying to themselves. They're in denial. Okay. They're not being honest. They're being uh, sneaky, right? Third party situation energy. So that coming up in the past, you know, is, is why this person really is just bursting to tell you the truth. They're bursting to release the situation that they've been holding on to because they know that it's contributing to this distorted energy. Okay. They can't be their authentic self. They can't rise up in their power if they're stuck with this devil energy. Okay. And again, this could be you. So keep that in mind, right? So we're going to get some advice from the Oracle of the Mermaids. And we're going to see what you, the viewer, needs to see in regards to this connection. So what is the card that Cancer needs to see in regards to the overall advice from Spirit? Oh. Ooh, water flight. Heaviness lifts burdens are cast away and weightlessness. Okay. So we're going to read from the book because I just want to, okay. Cause I like these little mermaid sings advice here. <laughs> so the mermaids sing when one of, excuse me, when one of we see beings lies upon the shore, unable to return for hours to the sea, just above the tide line, led there by sonar and other human follies. We die not so much from the dryness of the air, but from the weight of the world of the air. You see, in the world of water, we are light. We are weightless. The water holds us, suspends us. In the world of the air, we are left to fall to the ground, to remain heavier, and the weight of our own bodies, organs, blood, and bones slowly crushes us. Similarly, if you humans live too much in the world of air without the weightlessness and suspension, the support and the buoyancy of water, you can be crushed, weighed down until you can barely breathe in anymore. You live so much in the world of air in terms of intellect too. The thought world dominates humans and you neglect the feeling world which can sustain, uplift, and support you, allowing you in the realm of emotional imagination to do what your head says cannot be done, to take flight to create a story, to feel the depth and possibility of your lives, and to wonder. The world of air often crushes the life out of the dreams of water. Do not let this happen to you. Oh my God, Cancer. If you didn't pick up what I was just reading, okay, then I'm going to tell you what I just heard from this message here. Also the number 14, which represents temperance, um, patience, and, and trust in divine timing and things working out behind the scenes. Do not let the weight of the air crush you, okay? We just talked about how there's so much air energy in this reading. It's insane. Do not let the energy of this person crush you or make you feel like you're not worth something, that you're not capable of moving on or doing better for yourself, okay? If this person is stuck in a situation and they're refusing to be honest, the best thing you can do is to lovingly release them to the universe and allow yourself back into your natural habitat in the water, okay? You are ruled by the moon. You are a water sign, okay? So don't allow this person's energy to take you over and make you forget who you really are and the power that your world holds, okay? So let's go ahead and grab some musical messages here and see what this person and their higher self is wanting to relay to you. Now, keep in mind also, this is the musical messages from the Divine Counterparts, volumes one and two can be purchased in my shop. So what do we need to see for cancer, please, before my phone dies? 
I can dream about you. I don't understand it. I can't keep my mind off loving you, not even for a minute. I'm caught up in the magic I see in you. There's one thing to do. They can dream about you, right? So they're telling you they're dreaming about you. I mean, that's pretty much what all they can do right now in their situation, but they're doing it, okay? Um, they don't understand why these things are happening. This person has a lot to learn is what I'm hearing, okay? What else do we need to see? Like a wrecking ball. That old house is going to be shaking. I hope these bricks and boards can take it, but I won't be surprised if the whole damn place just falls. I'm going to rock you, baby, like a wrecking ball. And that's by Eric Church. So, again, I do feel this person is obsessing over you a little bit. I think they're very um, physically attracted to you. They're definitely wanting to connect with you sexually. Um, <clears throat> so they're, they're fantasizing, I feel, about being with you intimately. What else? <clears throat> Strangers. Must be from a different life. Been here before and it just feels right. No, this ain't the first time for you and I. We ain't strangers by the Jonas Brothers. So again, your person feels this connection to you. We saw the Six of Cups before. They feel the soul connection. They feel the pull. And they know this is not y'all's first rodeo, okay? Let's get one more card before we end the reading. What else does Cancer need to see? If, oh, I'm going to have to add their new song, Wings, to my Volume 3 deck that I'm creating, by the way. If you're not the one, I don't want to run away, but I can't take it. I don't understand. If I'm not made for you, then why does my heart tell me that I am? Daniel Bedingfield. So your person is struggling internally because they feel so connected to you. They feel like you're the one. The signs and everything are pointing them in your direction, but this person metaphorically is being crushed by the weight of the air in their world okay and they have so much that they need to get through before they're ready to be open and honest and vulnerable with you in the 3d okay so hopefully that resonated with you um i know that it was not the most sappy and romantic reading but y'all know i do not sugarcoat my readings so anyways cancer if it resonated comment below other than that i hope you guys enjoy the rest of pisces season and i will see you again very soon